Merry Meet YouTubers, this is Lady Grave Dancer, and I am here to show you my outside altar magical working area, however you want to name it. That real smells so good. So basically that's my front porch. There's my Buddha. This is what you see when you walk up to my porch. This is my porch. Right here. So there's my rosemary. In my rosemary I have a fake cobra snake because I just think it's hilarious. It's just scared the hell out of people. And then I have some more rosemary growing here. This old little flower thing belonged to my great great grandmother and I just like to have it in the yard even though it's broken. So and then there's the sun and the moon. And then there's some flowers and there's my Buddha. I love my Buddha. It's a pretty big one. And then Bugs Bunny was given to me by a old witchy friend about 10 years ago and I keep it with me always. I need to touch up his paint but I kind of like him like that. And up here we have the sun and the moon flip-flop and then when you're walking up to my porch up there is a broom that I've made and some more wind chimes I love wind chimes and I got two pentacles hanging there and two ferns that aren't so happy right now and then you walk up my stairs and then I have my working area that's my kids uh, telescope they like to look at the moon and stuff it's my house TV so out here Basically under there is all my outside stuff, my gloves, um, seeds for the birds, ant poisoning. Over here I have um, citronella candles and citronella oil because my youngest is allergic to everything. So yeah, but that's down there. Up here I have um, this spread for when I'm in the yard doing ritual. And then I got some sandstone, I believe is what it's called. And you know that's good for conducting um, energies when you're working with spirits, ghosts, whatever you call them. So I use that for a conductor. And I got some dried roses because I love dried roses. And in here are incense that are in plastic bags. Because since it's outside, you know, I don't want them to get wet and muggy and everything. So I just got a bunch of incense that are in plastic bags. And I got a cranberry one burning right now. This is the candle I use when I'm doing workings outside. <laughs> this one was lit. I guess the wind blew it out. This one I, I light every night and in the morning. Right here I keep candles in here for outside a little cedar box. But I like that at night or in the morning. And I just keep it and I ask for a blessing to bless my house and keep it under protection. And this is a huge chunk of rose quartz that I keep here because it just makes me feel good. And then in here I have all my loose incense. That I make in here I keep the cone incense but we had a fire um, we had the fire pit going the other day making s'mores and I threw all of them in there and it smelled amazing it really did and these are cone incense that are store-bought and I got some cedar and pine in there as well there's my little cauldron for when I'm out here burning my cold disc little cauldron and in here in this little wood box that I can't open with one hand it's some small cold disc and they actually stay really well in there they don't get all moist and wet they work really good in this little wood box I have apple wood that was given to me by my friend here on YouTube and um, if you remember that video the gift from a friend and I have that out here because I use one or two pieces when we do our fire kind of a little ritual and here I have some more seeds that I haven't planted in the garden yet when I'm done I'm actually just gonna put this box in the garden because I just really like it so this is like my working area. Little tweezers for my cold disc. Right here. This is where I do workings. And then that's wood, pine and regular wood for the fire pit that's over there. And my chair. Love my chair. And there's my owl. So see, I'm going to this part of the porch. Right here I have jalapenos. Right here I have mint and they need to come on and grow because I'm making those mixed drinks and stuff and the mint is going fast. And then here is some English lavender. Yeah, English lavender. Right there. And some more dead roses. Over here, I have some more roses. And I, I saw the sign at their store for a quarter and I had to buy it. Right here, when I am burning a cold disc and I want incense on it on this end, I just put it in here. I really like that. 
and this is my shelf. I have a shell out here. I have a knife. Some um, white roses. This is a candle, obviously. And then in he this box, I have a quartz crystal. And then this little bottle I found at the store. I've yet to figure out what I'm going to use it for, but I felt like it was supposed to be out here. And then here I have a pentacle, cold disc, cold disc, sage, and matches in this box. And they stay really dry inside these boxes really well. So it's on that shelf. And up here I have a candle snuffer. And in these little jars, I have the basic herbs that I use. This is mint in there. And I found this spice rack at the thrift store. It's frankincense, myrrh, uh, what is this? I can't see. Oh, patchouli powder, catnip, uh, oh, chamomile, of course, lemongrass, lavender bud, juniper berry, star anise, pink salt, that Himalayan salt, and jasmine buds. Those are my basic herbs that I use for just about everything. And I got a moral pestle for out here. And just another candle holder and some white candles. Archangel Michael candle. This has rainwater in it. Orange peel. A little frying pan. This is lavender oil. I have lavender oil everywhere in my house. All a bunch of little bottles. This pine cone was sent to me as a gift and I felt like it needed to be out here. Um, and there's some Florida water and some patchouli incense because I love patchouli. So that is basically what is on my porch. That is my outside working area um, when I'm doing certain workings. And I usually end up out there in the middle when I'm doing any kind of ritual work or if I'm communicating with um, spirits and stuff like that. So and I'm going to do a whole yard tour later on because it's misting out there so I'm not going to go out there right now but so I can show you my garden and all the good stuff because my mom's porch I fixed up pretty nice as well but I found these also I'm just like this what it takes let's throw one on my side and one on mom's end let's see what the temperature is it is is that 58 degrees it feels warmer than that I don't know but yeah so that is my porch tour I had been promising to show you my working area outside and here it is my mother says eventually the mailman is just gonna throw my mail instead of coming up to the porch cuz I'm starting to freak them out <laughs> but yeah hey Buddha pee 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 he's peeking thanks for watching guys and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask and I will see you guys at the next video and as always a blessed be